Welcome back, everyone, to the glorious Sweden of Doom in Le Kaiserreich. And this time, we are going to continue recovering from Black Monday. Now, uh, what I intend to do is uh, to basically... Um, I still haven't decided whether to record one more or two more episodes just normally. Uh, without any cutting or editing, and then I'm gonna start to go into you know, normal editing mode where things that aren't all too interesting get cut out. So yeah, uh, essentially because we are taking all these decisions to, you know, uh, subsidize raw resources and that kind of stuff, um, it's, um, it's lowering our unemployment, which means that the crisis situation improves. The unemployment level has fallen below 24%. As a result, the Swedish economy is starting to show its first signs of recovery as more people work and they start spreading their salaries again, or spending their salaries again. Although the worst is over, it remains, remains far from pre-crisis levels. It's a start, however, so that modifies Black Monday. Now, thinking about it, don't these things modify Black Monday too? No, they actually don't. Okay, I see, I see. That, that's fine, that's fine, that's very, very fine. So we're gonna continue, uh, we're gonna need to continue just, you know, getting all the interest and stuff. To get, um, month of the population and stability minus 25%. I mean, I'd rather keep the construction speed, although stability does affect construction speed, does it? Yeah, it does. Um, oh well. Still have uh, related debt. It's okay though, we will survive. So checking out the state of the world, Russia ooh, went to the Senate. So there's the social liberal Russia. Mongolia is doing its thing. And uh, elections in Italy. Wonder what's gonna happen there. Oh, that happened. Okay. Okay, new technology. Thank you so much. Now we have the ability to research the machine tools, which is very good. And Norway has joined the Third International. Fuck. That's not good. So... I guess no Treaty of Stockholm then. Treaty of Stockholm will trigger if Denmark, Norway, and Sweden are all democratic in June 1937. That's never going to happen, unfortunately. Um, how can I invade Norway? Norway, oh, Norway and the International, okay. So many within the government consider the neutrality has been de facto maintained by Sweden since 1815 wholly. However, Norway has fallen to the cynicalist menace, and not only that, they joined the Third International of the French Commune and the Union of Britain. In addition, aggressive rhetoric towards the liberation of the evil capitalist tyranny of Sweden is almost a daily occurrence among some of in the rogue state that spawned uh, in the place of our western neighbor. With these threats, and keeping in mind that the formal ascension to the Third International Alliance may mean that the Norwegians will let loose their Anglo-French attack dogs on us, many consider it wise to abandon neutrality, dear to us as it may be, as the syndicalists will only have problems violating it, and it would make on us only vulnerable to attack. In favor of an alliance with the Germans, our avid trade partner is a known rival to the Third International. We should join the Reichsbot. What you gonna do, German Empire? Germany accepted our proposal! Okay. So here we are. I guess we are in the Reichsbach now. How, uh, how fast? That did not take very, very long at all. Man, 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 man. Honestly, I kind of prefer that it would have allowed you to do things by yourself. Like, I don't know, try to subvert Norway or something, because... Yeah, this just means that there's no way... 
there's just no way, because we need world tension to be at 75% to justify on this guy. There's no way we're getting the event before the 1937. No, no way we're getting that. Oh well. We are going to survive. Uh, land doctrines. Right, mobile warfare. Mobile warfare. God damn it. This is, uh, This is really annoying because, again, like, there's. I have no agency over that, so it's really pissing me off. I need 5 million kroner. Print money. Cut welfare funding. Raise taxes. This will reduce inflation. Thank you. That, but that's really bad. For 365 days, we get 5% consumer goods factories and construction speed. Although, I wonder what's going to happen with inflation. Alright. I guess we're just going to eat the extra taxes. Alright. Could have just abolished the Statare, but... We need the minus 5% consumer goods factories because we're just fucking over our civilian economy, so yes. Plus 40% monthly population. How amazing. Folk Hemet. Yeah, we don't particularly care about any of these right now. I mean, base stability is good, and monthly population is really good, but we just can't do any of that right now. We need to fund things like civilian factories first. And get the Panzer Truperna at some point, which is going to take 140 days, so... Yeah. Baltic battlecruisers? Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna get extra research, and then think about the armor divisions. Ooh, more unemployment decreasing. Good. That is really nice. Um, can't take war economy, obviously, before we're at war. The crisis situation improves further. Very nice. So we need to continue push, pushing forward this is, with this Black Monday. Print extra money. Inflation is just a number. Uh, I like how Ukraine is moving in, like, all their troops to the border. The Crisis Commission that was set up in the 1936 Crisis Act has delivered the reports of last year's balance. They have been left on your desk. We paid 0 0.2 million kronor in the interest over our loans. Insofar we can't afford us, we will take additional loans to fill the gap. Unemployment will be lowered by 2% thanks to the natural tendency of the unemployment to move towards the equilibrium. Good. I am happy about this. So yeah, honestly, the interest is not that bad. Greta Garbo stars in Camille. Or Camille, right. Obviously, Greta Garbo is one of the biggest names in the movie industry. That outfit is too revealing. Censor it. It seems most entertaining. Send me a ticket. Obviously, we are, you know, great uh, fucking... Fucking socially liberal Sweden. So we don't care. Uh, I do, however, care about the fact that I just got cocked real hard over my Nordic Federation. Um, you know, actually... Live while the recording is going on, I'm gonna I'm gonna look up uh, 
I'm gonna look up uh, the Nordic Federation and see if there's any way to reverse this course of action. And you know, as I said the last time, if you know, if things get things get like you know too bad at one point or another, you know, workers' victory, force Hakan to ab abdicate, declare martial law. He could still get cooed, right? I think he could still get cooed. No, no, no. If he takes the worker's victory, he's just... He's, he's done. Okay. Um, like, I think... There is... No, 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 no. There is no way. But, um, yeah, as I said the last time, if... Like, it just goes bad. I'm just gonna look up the event name and, you know, fire it whenever the conditions are supposed to be met. So, yeah. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, that's it. Okay, so... Industrial company... I'd like industrial companies. That would be the LKAB, so not, not yet. Oops. So, what can we do, actually? We do not have theorists. We cannot get as extensive conscription. Export focus is fine. Although we are actually lacking steel. We are gonna get more of that soon, so... Could switch to free trade, but we have 150, so might as well get a manufacturer. Uh, infantry equipment manufacturer. Soft attack, breakthrough, and hard attack. Okay, I guess I just wait for him then. Uh, can I change ministers around? Social liberals, social democrats. Planned economy component. Admin genius, plus two construction speed, plus one research speed, plus two factory output. Um, that just looks just straight up better. Or resource gain efficiency. Fucking Venetians revolt. You now these ministers don't really do too much though. At this point. And there we go. Legionary Italy doing its thing. I guess we should we can just save up political power for now. Cause you know, political power is gonna be very important. Yeah, it's fine, just just save it for now. Uh, cut welfare funding. I don't really want to do that. So that's gonna give us I mean mostly population and stability. Yeah, but like losing that stability might be bad. Print money, borrow money. So that when we when we get the chance we can just take everything. That's a bad idea there, buddy. Stand off in America. A tense standoff has erupted in the United States as the democratically elected president Huey Long fled to the city of New Orleans, had to be forcibly removed from his position by General Douglas MacArthur. From New Orleans, Long's supporters have declared MacArthur's government illegitimate as have the northern supporters of syndicalist Jack Reed based in Chicago and the Pacific governors under the governor, uh, leadership of Governor Frank Marion. All have been given a deadline by General MacArthur of 30 days to either stand down or face arrest and execution. Considering all sides are rapidly raising forces, the idea that America seems headed into a second civil war seems almost certain. And there we go. Alright. Give me research slot. Create the Western Defense Command. Unknown focus on the American Navy. Obviously. Here we go. Uh, related debt, 4 million kronor. Now we're gonna get more debt by the time this is over. 17% unemployment. So that's going down very quickly. Come on, give me that public works. 
The crisis situation improves even more. Very nice. Nationalize a major company. Start a public works program. So that's lowering unemployment by 2% and also giving me... I don't understand why this is 5... 5 million kroner and it, remove it removes unemployment... Or reduces unemployment by 2% while this one... Oh, because this one also uh, in uh, increases the amount of consumer goods factories. Okay, this is just you spend money. All right, I see. The crisis is over. With the unemployment below 12%, the Swedish economy is running once more at the speed it once uh, used to be before the disturbing events of Black Monday. We have successfully resolved the economic downturn. The crisis is over. Oh, that was fast. That lasted less than a year. All right. Um... So what we can do now is just repay the debts. Gonna... And to get the money to do that, I guess we can... Cut welfare funding. Yeah. Repay that debt. Um, final sentence of the Sala Gang. <laughs> Sala Gang. Uh, in the summer of last year, a gang led by a man named called uh, man named a, a name called what? Okay, of course. Oh Jesus Christ, that's a lot of declarations of war. Go away. Uh, a gang led by a man called Sigvard Nilsson Furneman, a name he added himself presumably because it is an am anagram for manhunter, was arrested for murder. Soon the investigation reached nationwide front news as it turned out that the gang was not only guilty of murders dating all the way back to 1941, but also because it ran more or less uh, like an occult group and went under the name The Magic Circle. The leader and the conspirators were sentenced to court in the other day, the other day uh, most of them to life in prison, but the leader was considered so mentally ill that he was sentenced to closed psychiatric care. Many people are outraged, for they would have uh, wanted to see Sigvard Nilsson Furneman put away for good. Must respect the court's decision, closed care it is, or a rage for this monster to be relocated to a prison. I mean, I guess just just send him to the court, because, you know, plus 25 for local power as opposed to plus 10. L probably something bad happens if I send him to a prison, right? You know? That's just my hunch. Alright, we're no more in debt. Um... Still have a 17% inflation. I wonder what that's gonna do, but who knows? All right. To follow Washington. Wow, that was fast. Syndicalists have taken Washington. Yeah, I wonder what's gonna happen with America. Radio. No, I want to research computing machine whenever time comes. Democracy prevails in the Philippines. Well, of course it does. You know, I could just switch to free trade. It would be very, very helpful because, you know, plus 5% everything. Plus 5% everything is pretty fucking good. And it's like, yeah, for a while we're gonna have crises and everything when it comes to the resources. But, hey, actually, this might give us even more, uh, might give us more, like, factories. Are any coming from exports? Yes, yeah, six civilian factories from exports. Thank you so much, my friends. Who are we even exporting to? Trade. It's uh, not telling me. Steel. We are exporting to Albania, Liberia, Netherlands, and the Two Sicilies, and the German Empire, and the Commune of France. Isn't that just great to know that of our exports, one of them is the, to the fucking Commune of France. Another one is to Albania. And another one is to the Two Sicilies. You know, the most friendly and... Uh, most friendly and stable nations on the planet.
You know, I shouldn't have joined the Reichspacht. This is gonna make the game way too fucking easy. Gonna make the game way too fucking easy, ZPH. Is Denmark in the Reichspacht, actually? No. Okay. Alright, uh, tanks. Subsidize raw resource export. You know, this is gonna send the resources to market to 100%. So, no, we don't want to do that. We still have 2 million Kronor. Implement tariffs. Okay, apparently we cannot implement tariffs for Social Democrat because Social Democrats have never done that before. Oh, this is a violation of the rules of Mitten Europa. Of course. Of course, it is a violation of the rules of Mitten Europa. Syndicalist, revolutionaries, and Switzerland. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 dude. Okay. Statens Jernvegar. So we are gonna do the cold, large expanse of Scandinavia. It's very clear infrastructure problems. So we're gonna add infrastructure, and you know, the goal of this is just to get like every you know economy thing possible, because we're never gonna get the f fucking Treaty of Stockholm, which pisses me the hell off. You know, maybe maybe some geopolitical actions are hidden behind us finishing. The Folk Hemet or something? So who knows? Anyway, Carlist Spain, Kingdom of Spain. Can we even send volunteers to people? We need at least 20 divisions to send volunteers. So maybe we should get 20 divisions. Because. We need to be able to do fucking something, at the very least. Ooh, right, there's still this going on, Viet Cong. <laughs> the Ukrainian Space Marines are in Vietnam. Of course, of course they are. One Pihotna Divizia is in, U is in the Vietnam. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, as you can see, this will not be the most ridiculously... Oh! More ships. This will not be the most ridiculously... Uh, Action-packed playthrough. Not for the first few years. Now, can we can we get out of the Reichspact? Countries may not leave a faction except through national focuses and events. Damn. The Mozambique Bush War. Okay, Mid-South Africa declared war on Portugal. Alright. Bring it on, Africa. Yeah, we still don't have an LKAB, but when we when we get it, we definitely want it. Because you know, plus 10% construction speed, not bad. Thank you. You even get oil. Which is useful. And oh, here comes the Balkans. Bulgaria seems screwed. And South America blows up as well. Hmm. That's great. Finish Irredentism. Oh, that's not... Oh, that's here. Oh yeah, he still needs... He still has a while to go before he finishes the... Finishes the focus stream. And so once he finishes the focus stream, he can... Yeah, he, he can take the foreign policy or line. And, you know, go around and murder some people. Man, this is... Yeah. 
Okay, I, I thought it was that. <laughs> okay. Very good. LKB, give me that. So, yeah, after the first part is over, which is gonna be a few more minutes, I will actually... What? Oh, never mind. Uh, I thought that was... Oh, new portrait. Looks good, TBH. Um, yeah, essentially, like, after this is done, I will be, you know, playing along without really recording because not much interesting is going on. And uh, I do want to look into a way in which I can salvage the whole Nordic Federation stuff. I wonder if you can do it after you've taken over people or something? I don't know, because otherwise it just seems really limiting. Like, they all must be democratic before 1937, otherwise you don't get a chance. Like, you have no way of intervening in other, in other countries, so that really does not make much sense. It's like, completely reliant on what the AI does. And that's never a good idea. Wait, delay? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, really? That long, you're gonna take? Veteran difficulty and conservative army leadership. Base cost 382? They seem to have increased the base costs for doctrines. Well, that's fine. Do we have chromium? We do. We could do heavy tanks. Do you get bonuses to heavy tanks with the maneuver warfare? No, medium tanks. Yeah, alright. Medium tanks it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, land doctrines are just fucking good, so... Just take that. Cynicalism spreads the Burma. Goddamn cynicalists. We should do mountain infantry, but like, seriously. Um, I guess first things first is engineer company, because, you know, if you don't have engineer company, you are a retard. Give me some army experience, thank you so much. Mm, you know, we could legislate freedoms and get a bunch of stability. And we can also improve our party popularity with that. But now, first we need to save up for LKAB. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I mean, after 75%, I can just justify on this guy and kill him. And honestly, the world tension is coming in really fast. So... Honestly, after LKAB is done, it might be worth to just get the Panzer Truperna so that I can actually fight the Norwegians and whoever else. Hmm. It's a distinctive possibility. Argentina, Argentina, Ar Argent Argentina, Argentina is getting fucked by obviously you know the Chile, Patagonian, Paraguayan gangbang. Oh, no, Paraguay has oh no, never mind, <laughs> glorious Paraguay. And looks like Huey Long is gonna win. Well, that's something. And here goes Portugal lost Mozambique. Well, rip Portugal. Rise of the Mongol Empire! Okay, in that vein, we are gonna, I think, stop the episode with the crazy Mongols and, um, you know, gonna be back next time. Some more Sweden. Uh, it's gonna be an edited episode so that, you know, there isn't quite as much boredom and, uh, whoa, Norwegian Union. And we're gonna fight this thing. So, yeah, see you soon.